Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel. Just getting that out of the way for a reflection video guys basically. Because what I want to do is I want to jump back onto a, a line of systems guys. Oh, that rocketed the world, I mean literally it just blew our flipping minds when the very first one appeared. Now, we all know the king of handhelds is nintendo and i tell you what with their game boy line game boy you know going into the game boy color guys they blew us away then already didn't they absolutely the most successful handheld of all time the game boy and of course you had your usual you know little uh mm, competition i wouldn't even call it that guys because they never really even came close did they with the atari links and the game gear from sega of course the game gear um but yeah they, they they couldn't touch them could they but i think by the time you know obviously the game boy color came along we were ready for something new and we got it in a more powerful system with the game boy advance line guys so we went from the game boy line into the game boy advance line with the original game boy advance and then of course the sp and right down to the micro guys but again it was that old thing wasn't it you know you had the one screen like all the other handhelds at the time guys all the other handhelds that had ever been and were around at the time had one screen bar the game and watch way back then guys the early 80s the game and watch there was a line of game and watches that were dual screen so of course we had come across it in the past but i think most people either didn't know about it anymore or they just plain bloody forgot that they existed they just think of the you know the standard one screen game and watch well there was dual ones like donkey kong and what have you mm. so off nintendo went and they're thinking right okay we'll have this you know prototype name whatever the bloody hell it was again can't even remember off the top of my head guys normally i do remember it but Suddenly they appeared. Reggie appears at all the bloody, uh, you know, Nintendo Directs and flipping trade shows and what have you. Touting this dual screen handheld, guys. And everybody's like, oh my flipping good God, what is that? Uh, looks very different to the one that was finally released, of course. But still, it blew us away, guys. And then they announced the name, the Nintendo DS. Now, what a lot of people don't realise is that the DS actually stands for two things. Dual screen and developer system. So, yeah, that is where that comes from. It's a knockback to the Game & Watch, definitely, with the dual screens. And we were all like, oh, I wonder how that's going to work. And I tell you what, as soon as they came up for pre-order, I went out. I traded a load of stuff in and I got myself one. Fantastic, fantastic. Couldn't wait to get my hands on it. When I got it, I was blown away. First game I ever played on it was, of course, the rehash of Mario 64, guys. That is the first one I played. And I never looked back, guys. But, oh, my word. Did they come up with more models, didn't they? Obviously, that was a big chunky monkey, as we're going to look at. And then they went on from there with the DS line until they finally reached the end of its life cycle. But they kept the dual screens and went to the 3DS, guys. But that's a different chapter. We're just looking at the DS line. So all I want to do, guys, is jump back onto them and just have a look over the systems, guys. Just have a look over them, see the differences and things like that. And have a little chat about it, really. That's all this is, a reflection video, guys. So will you join me as we take a look back at the, uh, yeah, the Nintendo DS family line, guys. Right, back in a sec. Right, here we go guys, with Gen 1 of the Nintendo DS family. 
a very battered up one here i do believe i paid about a fiver for it, it works like fantastic but as you can see it's a bit rough around the edges i've been meaning to give it a respray which i will do in the end i'll make it into a beautiful color of some sort although i have already got lots of different colors of this pink and bloody old bloody sorts of red and god knows what else i've got guys black um but yeah here is the first one now when this came out guys you know it went by its uh, secret name he says uh, for a long time and then of course we realized that it was going to be the nintendo ds standing for dual screen and of course uh, yeah developer uh, system and all that kind of thing and um, so yeah this is the original one the chunky monkey with its nice curves um you know, a lot of people hate this one that says too heavy when you're using it. I get that. It is a very heavy unit, guys. It is very, very beefy. But can you imagine at the time um, when this came out, guys, and I got my first one. I had a load of trade, lots of doubles and what have you. And uh, I'd heard about this, so I went down to what was Game Station at the time, who took lots of uh, retro stuff. I don't know if you remember them, guys, but... Uh, yeah, they were bought out by game in the end, and then, yeah, they just shut all, all of them down, guys. Um, But, yeah, they used to take all the retro stuff back then, which was fantastic. You know, before CEX even, you know, existed in my part of the world, anyway, in my part of, the, of Britain. But, yeah, there's the back, guys, you can see here. Everything is uh, just so chunky looking. Uh, badly positioned stylus it has to be said uh, yeah it's not as easy as uh, later models where you can pull it out from the side you'd have to go right up here but yeah look look how thick that is but fantastic at the time guys so yeah off I went with a load of trade bait and uh, got myself the first one uh, pre-ordered it uh, with Mario the uh, Mario 64 portable um yeah absolutely fantastic i was uh waiting with anticipation when i first picked it up but uh yeah this is not the same one i have to admit obviously i said i've paid about a fiver for this one and funny enough it has actually got in it at the moment a very naughty thing is it oh no it's not i thought that was a oh no it's one of the others guys i was going to say this is not a very naughty well it could be a naughty thing if it drives you freaking crazy cooking mama um, yeah, that is not the uh, the thing I thought it was. So we'll have a look at that when we get to that unit then. Oh dear. So you've warts and all videos, guys. But yeah, this was it, guys. This was the first one. Looked completely different to what Reggie was showing at the time at the uh, different uh, gaming expos and the uh, Nintendo Direct and what have you completely different looking and of course it wasn't meant to be uh, replacing the Game Boy Advance no it was meant to be running co you know co co coexisting with it but of course we all know that wasn't really the truth and they were windling out the Game Boy Advance right so let's open it up there we go it does look completely different guys like I said to the one that was being touted around at the time. Um, in fact, I think the one that was being touted around with its uh, curved bits here. I'll tell you what, I'll insert a picture right there. There we go, that's what it looked like. Um, yeah, I think it actually looked <laughs> better in a way. But I do like this, and, and I do like it when you put some uh, decal on here. Make it look pretty. But yeah, my plan is to revamp this and uh yeah now i'm not going to rip the screen off and make it into a huge game boy advance or anything like that um no i'm just going to give it a spray job and what have you in the end yeah that's the plan of it but as you can see guys you know the the, the buttons they're good they're all right yeah they do improve as time goes on not bad at all shoulder buttons are quite nice there we go it's turning on now guys look there we are I've just turned it on. Yeah, what a thing. There we go, there's the top screen. There we are. Yeah, it's a, it's a lovely thing, guys. It's a lovely thing. 
which you can't get past that until you tap it. And that was incredible, you know, that you could come along and go, bonk, and you were in. Look at that, it's bringing up the game now. There we go, Cooking Mama. The speaker's nice and loud, guys, nice and loud. Yeah, this was a good, good thing at the time. It really was. I loved it. Absolutely adored it. I was so happy that I got myself one. But, shutting it up. <laughs> you can see all the scratches there as well, guys. But, time's moved on, didn't they? Yes, they certainly did. Right. Then they had the good idea, guys. The brilliant idea. The best one of them all. Of the DS line, anyway. Yeah, they brought out the DS Lite. This is a white one. Unfortunately, its Game Boy Advance cover is missing on this one. It's, it's around somewhere. All of us probably lost it. Um, but yeah, I've got all the different colours, guys. This is just the one I grabbed. But look at this. What a difference in form factor to this already. You know, complete different form factor. And it's not as chunky. I wouldn't exactly say it's small, but it's not as chunky, is it? Hmm... Oh yeah, that is a chunky monkey in comparison, yeah. So yeah, lots of things uh, better. Having the stylus here, much better. Unfortunately, with these white models, these bits here all go bloody yellow, of course, like we always do with these bloody things that are white. But yeah, obviously the headphone jack, I mean, on here, guys. Let's grab this again. Obviously, you've got that headphone jack there, so the position hasn't really changed much. As you can see, they're the same place, more or less. Yeah. At least they've got one, eh? But yeah, just just all round, a lovely thing, obviously. Here we've got your volume. Look to the stylus already. These shoulder buttons, guys. They are lovely. Clicky, clicky things. And look, there it is, guys. There's that blinking card I was looking for just now. There we go. Your R4 card. Yeah. It's just so much nicer to hold. You know, obviously, I like the aesthetics of the uh, curves on the older one, but I do love this. This this is just fantastic. And when you open it, guys, it's like a different world. Beautiful looking. Probably not so easy to see on camera actually in the white. I should have grabbed a different colour, but there we go. All oh, these buttons. You, you can't even. Yeah. I mean, I like them. I like them in the old one, guys. I do. I like them in the old one. He says, putting it right up to the camera. Yeah, I do like them in there. Let's open it up. But you can't even compare them. They're, they're, I mean, this, this one's bigger, isn't it? But. It's not as precise, guys. He says with that playing away. Yeah, it's not as precise as this one. These are gorgeous, gorgeous things. All the buttons are gorgeous, yeah. So yeah, what a beautiful progression. Evolution, even. Like a Pokemon. It's evolved into a beautiful piece of kit. That is a flipping show. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Hmm. But still, a lot of things missing, guys, isn't there? But you at least have got this. You can still play all your Game Boy Advance games just as you can in the original. That makes the library double, doesn't it? Yeah, double. So, that was your Game Boy. Game Boy, that was your DS Lite. Because we're talking about Game Boy Advance, you know me, I'm a plank. Yeah, beautiful thing, that's who it is. And then came along, da da da, the DSi. Wow, did it put some excellent things onto it? Camera. Camera. So, yeah, two cameras. And of course, most importantly, here we go. A flap to pop memory cards in, which made all the difference. And oh, what we've got in this one? Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, is it another one? 
No, that's just a adapter with a card in it. So yeah, having that, guys, is brilliant. And as you notice on this one, guys, the uh, stylus is missing. Again, it's been kidified. I've got millions of them kicking around. I'll put another one in. But yeah, that's where your stylus will go. So nicely placed again there so you can get to it easy. Fantastic shoulder buttons. I like this aesthetic. Uh, a lot of people don't like it on the later DS, uh, DS and 3DSs, but I like it. I love that. Yeah, there's your slot again. Yep. Yeah. And something I haven't been mentioning, guys. Hmm. This one. Bloody weird charger. He says, trying to find where the charger goes. There we go. Bloody weird charger. That is only for the light, guys. Only for the light. You cannot use the original DS charger. No. This is like the SP. Yeah, that's what they used in the SP, the Game Boy Advance SP. And Micro and all that kind of thing. Oh, yeah, SP. Oh, no, I just think, I think it was just the SP, actually, guys. Yeah, just the SP. Very confusing with the chargers. And, yeah, and this one had its own because... When this one came along, they changed it again. But at least they kept it because this is the same one that you can then get in all future. Uh, even the 3DSs, guys, they all use this charger. So at least that's something. Hey, there we go, lovely shoulder buttons. Yeah, just, just an excellent looking thing. Of course, inside again. They all look a bit scratched, but they're not the screen protectors. There we go. Lovely buttons again, yeah, nice and precise, yeah, lovely. But one big drawback. Yeah, it's missing, guys. It's not there, is it? Hmm. Yes, they took it away, guys. They halved the available software on this thing by removing the flipping Game Boy Advance slot. See the big difference in the size here look at this massive chunk yeah but yes guys that's what they did they removed it and yeah that was not a good idea but of course they did put on the internet you had the cameras oh and there, were, there were so many fun things you could do with it suddenly you could muck about with your file sounds that you recorded and mp3s and oh you, you could do so much guys you could do things with your pictures oh it opened the world up and of course it also brought us the uh the store guys the store so yeah when you weigh up the pros and the cons nowadays you'd rather go for that so you could have a decent screen with game boy advance games wouldn't you but back then guys it was a no-brainer People wanted to get their hands on these little indie games and what have you that hit the uh, the store. And it was just a natural progression to have the internet and what have you. But why, 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 why did they take that slot away? Oh, gorgeous looking thing there. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous looking thing. Right, then the last one, guys. Which again, it evolved. But only in one way. It got bloody bigger. That's what. Here we are again, guys, with the DSi XL. Again, a bit rough on the edges, all of these ones are, because these are ones that I bought to repair at the time. Um, they're all working now. They've all been fixed. They just need cosmetic uh, yeah, surgery, shall we say. But yeah, there's your camera again. Second camera again. But it's all just way bigger. A lot bigger again oh the buttons are just gorgeous again but it's the same old thing guys they took that slot away didn't they mm, they certainly did but what a gorgeous thing let's have a look here first of all here we go shoulder buttons wow so clicky in just the right way yeah there we go so yeah they've evolved a lot see this one's missing it's uh, identification it's serial number. But yeah, again, I like that. Really, really like that. Yep, it uses the same charger, as I said, as the uh, little DSi. 
But yeah, lovely looking thing, guys. I mean, really, there isn't much else to say about this one. It's bigger. That's why it's called XL. And then, of course, they progressed on to the uh, 3DS after this and went small again and then bigger again. And you no, know, you know the story, guys. But yeah, what a lovely thing. Nice big screen. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That's dust, guys. Look at that. That's where it's been sitting on my shelf. Shameful. Shameful. Look at it. Oh, terrible. So that wasn't even scratches on the screen protector at all. That's just dirt. It shows you how much these get used, these DS eyes. Hmm. But yeah, a little bit harder to uh, make magic, these ones. That's the trouble. You have to have flip notes usually. I, I do believe there's a new way of doing it now. But at one point, yeah, you had to have flip notes or whatever the hell it was to be able to do it. So unless you had it installed already, you were screwed after the store shut. But yeah, there we go again. <laughs> All these different styluses, guys, they all look bloody different. Every time they bring a new model out at the time, they, they had a different stylus. But yeah, gorgeous looking thing, guys. And I do like this one, this uh, brown mocha look. But yeah, all right. Let's uh, line them up and... Uh, oh, well, first of all, why don't we make a sandwich? Now, that's a sandwich to sink your teeth into, isn't it, eh? A DS sandwich. Mmm, with its crunchy, crusty, lovely topping. Mmm, yeah, well, roll, roll. Certainly looks like a fucking crusty thing, all right. Yeah. Well, there we go, guys. That was a look back at these buggers. Starting with the oldest and working our way down. It was a fantastic platform at the time. Obviously... Oh, there's so many fantastic games out there for the DS, guys. Hell of a lot of shovelware as well, obviously. But yeah, what a fantastic period in time it was when these all were around, guys. But of course, everything comes to an end. And then along came the 3DS. And yeah, <laughs> what else can you say there, guys? I mean, it smashed it out of the water, didn't it? It took it to another freaking level altogether, but we really must never forget that the whole reason why the 3DS exists is because of these. And in fact, if you want to go even further back, guys, took inspiration from the game and watched dual screens, guys, so way back then already. Like I said, guys, it stands for dual screen and developer system. Um, but yeah, we got the game and watch to thank at the beginning for all of this, guys, because that's where the inspiration came from. A throwback to the game and watch double screens, guys. Right, and there we are. That is a look at the little, well, look back at the uh, DS family line, guys. I just thought I'd do this for a bit of fun, really, just to look back at them. Crusty and the dusty. Certainly uh, dusty there, wasn't it, eh? Shameful. I just showed you that you can't dust everything in a bloody great big game room all the time. Right, and with that, guys, I'm going to wrap things up. And I'm going to say the usuals. If you're not subbed already, please drop me a sub. Give me a thummy thumbs up if you feel that way inclined. And, of course, don't forget to tap the bell icon and all icons to get any future notifications whatsoever, guys. And if you love the retro of the gaming you're going to absolutely love emulation, I'm sure. Whether it's handheld or systems you plug into your TV, guys. Whichever way you float with your emulation, I've got a fantastic group for you on Facebook. It is the Retro Emulation Fan Group. That me and my best mate Nate set up some time ago. I tell you what, it's an ever-growing member base, guys. We're heading for 500 members. So tons of people for you to have a banter with. Loads of videos, guys, from system reviews to tech help videos to emulation performance videos and a lot lot more guys so if you love emulation even if you just come and have a banter with the fantastic admin team and the other members link below guys head over to the retro emulation fan group and then guys i also have my uk crap gaming facebook group as well guys where we cover everything from retro to modern gaming 
bong machines to PS5s and everything in between. And again, guys, tons of videos go up there every single day because other YouTubers post their videos there as well. So there's a fantastic amount of content for you. Again, a stellar admin team to talk with and an ever-growing member base. So if you just love gaming, head below, guys. The link is there. Come and join us. Ask to join, and I'll accept you in no time. And then, guys, finally, I have a Patreon. Again, guys, a video there explaining why I decided to set it up in the first place. Give it a watch, and then see if you want to join me on my Patreon journey. With that, guys, I'm going to love you and leave you, and say, Peter's in. Cheers, and goodbye. And I'll see you in the next one.